So, as many of you know, these people have given me poison oak. And that is why I've decided to make this whole video with the study from uh, from his Facebook. I'm in a Facebook group. And I'll put that in this video as well. With almost 3,000 members in it right now. The screenshot I have it is kind of old. Um, and someone did a survey, and just the people who responded to the survey, you have five people who report that not only their food is being drugged, but it is one of the worst um, aspects of their what's called gang stalking, which is really organized harassment, covert experimentation, and organized stalking, as well as covert drugging. A lot of people are being drugged subtly. You know, drugging is almost always a part of it. Not everyone recognizes it because sometimes they're given laxatives and for immature reasons, you know. Sometimes they're given uh, very low doses of drugs that make them act up that they don't really understand. And since they're upset anyway, they don't make the connection. But yes, you know, this is proven and this is real. And the local martial artists, you know, are absolutely terrified at letting it be known that I'm the best because of how I see things and because they are a part of upholding social norms. Okay, psychiatry, law enforcement, the military, intelligence agencies, martial arts, even gangs, all are part of social control. You see, the social engineers, the social designers, they team up with the social developers, okay, the people who see it every step of the way, and they work with the social controllers to make the political environment that we have, you know. So yes, absolutely, these people are hiding. They are hiding because they are scared. They are terrified. They, just the thought of stepping into the ring with me and being made a fool of absolutely makes them pale. It destroys their ego. It will take away, it would take away their respect and they would feel financially th threatened by it. So they avoid the challenge at all costs. You know, this is what exactly what you would expect to have happen when the real top martial artist in America starts calling out the other ones. You know, what do they do? What are they gonna do? They can't beat them. They gotta find a way to cheat. They gotta try to get a ref that sees it their way. They gotta find any way they can to cheat or they gotta covertly drug and try to, you know, set them up to go to the psych ward or kill them or something like that, right? This is exactly what you would expect. And these people, you know, probably don't wanna risk going to jail for this, but they certainly have no problem with doing everything else. I mean, this is exactly what you would expect. And anyone who doesn't see that way, you know, really needs to do some serious introspection and seriously ask themselves, well, why are they so out of touch? You know, I'm the top martial artist in America and I'm being persecuted for my political views. That's why I put $3,000 on the line. So everyone would understand that I'm the best and that you, the world will never acknowledge that because of my political views that I refuse to recant. I refuse to be assimilated into covert opposition. And I think that they're cowards. I know that they're cowards. Cowards who team up with Big Pharma. It came out on RT. You know what? Let me pull that up for you real fast, okay? It comes out. RT Mainstream News. Mainstream. It's about the drugs. Okay, here we go. Just listen to this clip real quick. Now at Roundtable. Not that. Fuck Roundtable. Okay. This clip actually. Freshly rolled dough. For now on air, several US athletes have said they'll launch lawsuits against the Al Jazeera TV channel, which has uh, actually accused them of doping. The investigation allegedly exposes the role of American pharmacists and doctors in prescribing performance enhancing drugs. It also raises suspicions over a number of well-known sportsmen in American football and baseball who the uh, uh, accused medical professionals reportedly worked with. 
Over eight months, our hidden cameras capture what athletes call the dark side. Do you want growth hormone? Can you get bigger, faster, stronger, smarter? Do you want all of it? Now, Charlie Sly, who was a whistleblower in the documentary and allegedly supplied drugs to many athletes, denies any involvement in the scandal. Any recordings of me were made without my knowledge or consent. The statements on any recordings or communications that Al Jazeera plans to air are absolutely false and incorrect. I am recanting any such statements. Well, the accused. You see how this is? I mean, these people really think you're stupid. They have him on camera, you know, basically acting as a middleman to, pharmace to pharmacists and doctors for performance enhancing drugs. There's a thin line between an athlete and a martial artist in today's society. And for the same reason they don't want their image and reputation tarnished is the same reason they are sabotaging me. You know, I challenge them over and over again. I say, quit hiding. You know, prove me wrong if you can. You know, $3,000, there's nothing to pay if you lose. You get $25 to show. Don't you see how this absolutely connects to psychiatry and white social norms? Okay? This video is December 20th, 2013. I'm the top martial artist in California and I'm being persecuted for my political views. If you do not believe that I am the top martial artist in California, I challenge you to a sport, a uh, point sparring match. Sportsmanlike conduct will be applied generously, but she will still lose. And of course, the last challenger, you know, sportsmanlike conduct, I actually paid him $40 to show because I, you know, I, I misplaced my money at that point. Uh, you know, I, 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 I had put my wallet, well, I had my money, you know, I had it all 20s and my wallet had the fives in it. I didn't realize I put it in my subway bag. So I ended up paying him $40 and I paid the cameraman $20 for recording, okay? So you get money no matter whether you win or lose. Don't you see how cowardly they are? Don't you see how weak they are? Don't you see how inferior they are? Okay, and what do they do? Their response, let's make this absolutely, I know I've played this before in the other clip, but their response to that, my friends, is this. To be in a psych war or anything like that. Do you say anything about what? Uh, about me needing to be in the psych ward or anything like that. Did he try to get you to help him uh, get me to the psych ward? So, 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 he, 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 so he, he asked you to help piss me off so that I go to the psych ward? Yeah. Wow. Wow. And so... So you can see that was their response to my top martial arts challenge. To try to provoke me to go to the psych ward to uphold mainstream social norms, which in reality are Eurocentric, secret society, established social norms. And this poison oak, you know, you're not ready, yet ready to understand how they gave me this poison oak and why I still have it. You know what, I'm just gonna say it. Because I'm sure that you know that I'm the type of guy that don't make things up and I thoroughly establish my points and eventually I'll probably have evidence that will prove this. But they tamper with my mail, not just my food. I've identified gays and gang members that work for the UPS and so on and so forth. So when they delivered my poison oak cream, it was already unsealed. They put poison oak uh, um, extract into the cream. So I, when I put on the new medicated cream, it got worse, it immediately, pu immediately puffed up. It immediately spread because I basically rubbed in poison oak, you know, mixed with a medication into the thing. So it overcame the medication, you can, as you can imagine, you know, and it, it, it got worse, you know, within minutes. So I hope that you're all as disgusted by this as I am. I hope you're all as repulsed and you cannot stand this the same way that I do, that I, the same way I can. Um, I hope you all know that they have permanently damaged my brain with psychiatric medications and covert drugging. 
they have messed up my speech patterns and on record matter of fact i'm gonna put that in the pictures as well <sighs> i've taken great pains to expose this there isn't a reason in the world for me to make this up there isn't a possible way that i could have this wrong no way no way in fact let me play you this other clip now this next clip shows you that one of the few times i'm with someone else they have noticed because usually i go out by myself run errands you know go to the park upload some videos because of the cyber attacks that do not allow me to upload from home and do not allow me to go on my wi-fi with my cell because they use that as a beachhead to launch cyber assaults so listen to this 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 is one of the few times i'm with somebody else and they've noticed that i am being harassed by groups of people who come to where i go listen yeah, he was like, oh my god, I almost fell for it. Let's see, what do you say? So I took a gang stalking, right? Oh my gosh! No, but you don't understand, though. He, like, went out of his way trying to talk to us. Exactly. Did you notice that? I'm recording this by now, so I can get on record. Oh my god! Oh my god, I almost fell for uh, it. I already knew what it was, but I, I didn't almost see it. fell for it. And then and at the back of my head, I was thinking, how does he know you're not my boyfriend? Like, you don't know understand why the fuck is he talking? You know, how does he know we're not your family? Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Isn't it odd for another man to talk to a woman who's with another man? Exactly. It is crazy. This is what these people do. They do little things trying to get And he's all uh, like, he, he was like, he was just, he just seems so like such a square and such a nice, like, charming dude. Like, he was just trying to make friends. Like, he was telling me how to, you know, he was just trying to tell me about himself. Like, he's so, he said. Some of you are going to say something stupid like, well, this, that, and the other thing, you know. Well, how do you know it's just not a regular guy? Well, because he got, we, when we left the restaurant, he got into a car with military license plates, a government license plate. He's telling me like, oh, you're from around here? Where are you from? And I told him Ethiopia. And then he's like, did you hear that? No, I didn't see him talk to you. No, oh my God. When we first ordered, he, he said that. How do you think like, I guessed it was him? I just heard him. I didn't oh see him Oh my God, that shit fucking weird. And then, and then I told him Ethiopia. And then, like, and then I came to the table and then we went to the bathroom to wash the kids' hands. And he started talking to me over there while waiting for the door. So, the title of this video is Proof of Gang Stalker with Witness Military and Intelligence Picks, Agency Picks. And he was telling me how he's like, you know, he, he's like, no, I'm from California, but I'm from LA. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm from LA. And in this video, I have pictures of a lot of the other people who are harassing me. Some of them have Navy placards, they have military placards. I'm going to put this picture into the video as well. Okay, government license plate, government type of vehicle newer vehicle you know and so on so yes i have proven it definitively that i am being harassed by the government and by people in charge of social controls okay and one of the main things they are trying to do is psychiatry gang stalking or government harassment covert harassment group harassment organized harassment cause harassment you know proves psychiatry is a fraud in a real valid science you would not be able to place someone out as crazy you know who isn't crazy only in a science where they don't know what they're talking about and there is little transparency and little accountability accountability do you see them able to do this to people like me so all of you contact all the martial artists especially in california and tell them how you feel about them hiding from my challenge because they're fucking cowards because they are weaklings because they are hiding from a man who was more blessed by god than they are they are hiding from the greatest martial art talent in this country they are hiding and this isn't the first time i've called them out if you go to that video 
Okay, and I've removed a lot of comments from that video, the original Top Martial Artist Challenge. There's hundreds of comments. Every day I was calling them out like the bitches you are. Like, what are you waiting for, you pussies? Accept my challenge. I have posted on different sites, Facebook. I've posted hundreds of videos referring to this challenge. There are half a million people who are aware of my top martial artist challenge and logically most of them are martial artists because of the titles of the videos on the various websites so tell them how disgusted you are that they would pretend to you know be noble and teach discipline and you know teach good qualities and hide behind fucking the government you know hide behind fucking psychiatry and covertly drug a sane man because they're too full of cowardice, dishonor, and false pride to either concede my point or to accept my challenge and face defeat. I am the top martial artist in America and my persecution has verified 100% so help me God, the psychiatry is almost an entirely complete fraud. There are some very small aspects of it that have some half-truths, but overall it is a complete fraud. I would bet my life on it. I promise you that. I have had countless people verify, the people who know me best in life, verify that there's nothing wrong with me, that it makes no sense to drug me. Yet these people still hide behind psychiatry. That is how pathetic it is. That is how little accountability it has. That is how little reason it has. The, you know, if you ask the patient and the people who know him best, there are no symptoms. So what the fuck are you addressing? My political views, which I have 10,000 valid sources, and I have proven that there are millions fucking millions of Christians who see things the same way I do and almost all of them are not on psychiatric medication and no one has ever implied that they should be. The fuck does that tell you, you sniveling weaklings? You cowards. You're pussies like the Santa Clara County Sheriff Department. You're pussies like the FBI, the DOD, the Department of Defense, Homeland Security, all these pussies. Weaklings. Cowards. The intelligence community, nothing but sniveling, fucking, lowly, immoral dogs. And they have the nerve to talk about fidelity and integrity, things they know nothing about. All they know is upholding white social norms and enforcing Babylon's fucking law like a good little bitch. Like the bitches they are. End of story. called gang stalking, which is really organized harassment, covert experimentation, and organized stalking, as well as covert drugging. A lot of people are being drugged subtly, you know. Drugging is almost always a part of it. Not everyone recognizes it because sometimes they're given laxatives and for immature reasons, you know. Sometimes they're given uh, and because they are a part of upholding social norms. Okay, psychiatry, law enforcement, the military, intelligence agencies, martial arts, even gangs, all are part of social control. You see, the social engineers, the social designers, they team up with the social developer. So, as many of you know, these people have given me poison oak. And that is why I've decided to make this whole video with the study from uh, from Facebook. I'm in a Facebook group. I don't put that in very low doses of drugs that make them act up that they don't really understand. And since they're upset anyway, they don't make the connection. But yes, you know, this is proven and this is real. And the local martial artists, you know, are absolutely terrified at letting it be known that I'm the best because of how I see things video as well. With almost 3,000 members in it right now, the screenshot I have it is kind of old. Um, and someone did a survey, and just the people who responded to the survey, you have five people who report that not only their food is being drugged, but it is one of the worst 
um, aspects of their 